Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Okay, so this is my latest project. Um, I'm a member of my scraproom.ning.com and that's Gina's site. Um, she's recently had some guest swap hostesses. Um, I wasn't able to participate in her most recent um, guest swap hostess uh, swap um, and that's with Miranda, Miss Liberty 25. Um, that one filled up so quickly and I wasn't able to get to it in time. But I did participate in the first two which were hosted by Bona. And so this is the my um, lace spool roll that I created. Um, my partner is Chevy Girl. Um, on I believe it, it's the same on YouTube and on my scrap room. Um, so we were to use, um, we had, um, oh, sorry. We used, um, Bona's outline for this project and it was to use, you know, a certain size circle on the top and on the bottom and, um, a certain size, um, roll in the middle. Um, you could either use, I believe an existing roll um, a empty lace roll or ribbon roll, whatever, or you could make your own. And I ended up making my own. Um, I had seen Bona's tutorial or one of her videos using the Tim Holtz um, uh, real die. So I had to get it. So I got that. I used that for the top and my bottom. Um, and the paper that I used is the Sela V paper. Um, and I've had that for quite a while. And I I used it on some projects, but not too many, but we were supposed to stick with the shabby chic theme. So this is um, how my project came out. We were to use lace, um, a handmade flower, and an embellishment on the top. So my handmade flower is made with lace, and my embellishment is a stick pin that I stuck in here. This flower was done using a tutorial by Trisha, who is a little shabby chic here on YouTube. And Trisha does some amazing um, handmade flowers you guys if you haven't checked her out you need to check her out because she's awesome she's like another um, Fiona and um, Bona, Arlene all those all those super talented ladies that <laughs> make the most unbelievable things Gina included by the way anyway okay so let me get to it um so I want to show you this is the the top of my lace um, roll and then I did a little dangle here, which is just a um, butterfly, butterfly dangle here. My girlfriend Cammy gave me a lot of ideas on what to do because I had I had started this as soon as we got the assignment, and then I I just hit the wall and I just that was it. I think I burnt out. <laughs> Not sure, but so I added this dangle and the stick pin. Um, and then I'll show you what's inside. Instead of closing it with Velcro, like a lot of the girls, I think, might be doing, I just put in another plain um, stick pin here. So it pulls out. It's not decorated because I, you know, I just wanted to keep it plain. Um, and then on the inside, this is how it looks. I have um, one of those rolled um, roses. Um, and the lace that I used, well, let me, let me go this way first. Okay, the lace that I used was really... Um, pretty um, thin, not thin, but um, transparent, I guess. So it wasn't very thick. So what I needed to do was, what I ended up doing was putting some trim on it, as you'll see. Um, I put this um, ribbon and organza trim on it down the middle and then a string of the those little um, fused, pearl, fused pearls. So I did that all along the whole um, 18 inches, which is what it needed to be. Okay. And then, yeah, so all the way down. So that's how it looks. Okay, and then on the inside, um, let me turn it around. So this is the inside of the roll, um, how it starts. Um, I covered the inside again with more of the Say Lovey paper. And because I, I used um, glossy accents and hot glue gun to, to keep it together, I put a little bead of the, another color of the fused pearls on the inside to cover it up. Um, on each little flower, oh, this is hard to show. Um, hold on. Okay, so on each little, on the, on the each, 
<laughs> I can't talk. On each little flower of the lace, I put a little um, halfback pearl. So you can see the design. Yeah, there's a halfback pearl on each one. Okay, so anyway, so when this roll starts, I have a little tiny tag here that I also cut out from that celery paper and a little bling thing, like a bling teardrop that I got from um, this pack of embellishments that I found also at TJ Maxx. It's from Jolie's Boutique. It's Fabrication Francais. And so, yeah, really cute embellishments in this pack. And that was only $3, TJ Maxx. Okay, and then um, I made a little um, lace flower here. And then I don't know if you can see it, but that's a little um, ladybug that was also in that same um, package of um, embellishments. Um, this is a hydrangea butterfly that I made. It's using um, one, two, three hydrangea petals. And then I used the halfback pearls for the body and the stamen is some antenna. And then I put some um, glitter glue stickles on there. Um, and then I have another lace flower, handmade lace flower. And this white flower here was in the last video that I showed um, getting my Wild Orchid Crafts haul. So that's the center here. Oh, I see a, a glue thing. Yuck. And then here's another tiny tag. Oh, here's some more glue. Sorry. I'm seeing all these. You know when you get those glue strands? I hate it. Um, so here's another tiny tag with one of those rose cabochons that I also got from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, and then here's a butterfly charm. It's glued and sewed on. And then my last um, embellishment is this antique looking button. And there's the little rose. So again, because um, I don't have the Velcro closing this roll up, I just roll it up like so. And then I use my little um, stick pin to keep it closed. And this is how Chevy Girl is going to get it. And um, I'm showing it early. And hopefully that'll... Um, <laughs> I hope she's a patient person, unlike me, who is very impatient when I know I'm getting something. But um, I hope she likes this. So Chevy Girl, if you're watching this, I hope you're going to be happy with what I got and what I made you. So anyway, people, thanks for stopping by. And hope you're having a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.